Blue Chevy SUV the station, I got one suspect in there. Is he down? One at the time, he was at a 417. Westbound traffic shut down, we need eastbound traffic shut down uh, at Muscatel. Got a rifle on the roof. We got choppers above the arrow. Be advised. Code 20. Shots fired. What's the location? We're on 21st Street. Shots fired. 23rd Street. 23rd Street. 23rd Street. 10 4, please. You need somebody advised if it's the rear of the location or in front of us. 5 We got MOS injured. One of the children plays on the sidewalk. This sidewalk has been her home since September. it appears to be getting worse. It's not like we want to be here, but this is the safest place that actually any of us could find. James Boss has lived on and off the streets for more than 13 years. All right, this is getting serious. It's called pink cocaine, the newest club drug that's also found its place in some high-profile cases. It seems to be viewed as a party drug. But despite the name, law enforcement officials say it rarely has much cocaine in it, the pink color coming from food coloring. More likely, it contains ketamine. Sometimes we find it with MDMA. Sometimes uh, cocaine is mixed in with it. Take a drive down Los Angeles' Skid Row, filled with tents, people and growing frustration. The system is completely overwhelmed. Dilakaratna we... points to a rise in housing costs, the opioid epidemic, mental health issues and the migrant crisis as factors exacerbating the problem in LA, a growing national problem that could take decades to fix. On a Minnesota freeway, a tanker speeds directly toward a crowd of protesters, narrowly avoiding catastrophe. 75 cities are living through these protests. Many are in flames. More than half have imposed curfews. Tear gas and rubber bullets too. In the beachside community of Santa Monica, a thousand National Guard soldiers are patrolling LA streets, helping 20,000 police on the ground. It's at crisis levels at this point. District Attorney John Kellner says violent crime among Colorado youth is skyrocketing. We've seen an over an increase of 20% of juvenile filings just since 2021. But more importantly, we've seen an increase of 124% when it comes to juvenile homicide filings. It's been a nightmare and I can't wait to get out of here. This is how Cindy used to lock her front door. Every day when we come home, we have to do this every time we go outside to take out the garbage. Every time we try to go to bed at night, we have to keep it like this so nobody can kick in the door. Fights broke out between right-wing demonstrators and counter-protesters over the weekend in several U.S. states in clashes that drew SWAT teams and police in riot gear. Thank you.